Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight, here to do your general reading for February 2019. This is Insight to Your Secret Message. I will be doing a little bit of an intro before I start the reading, so if you do not want to watch that, I will timestamp when the reading will actually start, so you can, you can go directly to the reading if you do not want to watch this uh, little intro here. So I just want to say thank you for stopping by, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, Thank you for stopping by. If you like how I read, please uh, like the video. That's the only way they get circulated around YouTube is if they are liked. So if you enjoy the reading, even, even if it doesn't resonate, please like it. If it does, please comment. I love to read the comments and I do reply to them and respond. Um, if you really like how I read, subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell there and you'll be notified for when I post a new uh, video share share these videos anywhere uh, Facebook uh, Twitter any way you want to share them with your friends private message them you are welcome to do that please check the description box for decks I am using also my email is there because I offer private I do offer private readings if you're interested in <coughs> excuse me private reading my email is there, or you can go to my Etsy page. The link is there for my Etsy page where I have a variety of different readings to choose from. My PayPal is listed below if you wish to donate to the channel. Any amount is not too small to keep these free readings going as they do take time and energy on my part to do these readings for you, but it's something I truly love to do, helping you guys out. So any amount is too small, click on the PayPal link. It'll take you directly to the PayPal um, page and you can just type in any amount and send it and it's really simple. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all my clients who have purchased private readings. I've been very successful and very helpful to them. So thank you so much for that. Uh, we may uh, pick up on past, present, or future energy, so please keep that in mind. We may pick up something that's already happened in the past, going through now, or may happen in the future, may not resonate now. You could come back in a year and watch it, and it may resonate. As I consider all my readings, even if they do have a date on them, to be timeless. So if you go through my playlist and you see something that catches your eye, a title, that you feel you resonate with no matter when it was recorded please watch it because it may resonate with you um cross watchers are welcome so if somebody's watching for a virgo this message may actually be for you um you you can also go and watch cross watch for your person their signs reading also may be helpful to you um if you don't resonate with this reading at all you can check your moon sign reading, your rising sign, your Jupiter sign for love, your Venus sign, if you're familiar with the signs in your chart. Um, I think that's it. Okay, so we're going to get started with the reading and I will time stamp it. So Virgo, we have the Barbary Zodiac Oracle here. So what we're going to do, all the decks have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on for you virgo so this is the barbary oracle we're going to see what element planet or fellow sign you may be dealing with and if you are not dealing with the sign that doesn't matter just throw that part away as i always say keep what resonates and throw away what doesn't um every single thing and every reading may not resonate with every single person so please keep that in mind if there's only certain parts that resonate just keep that and throw the rest away so let's see for virgo what they may be dealing with okay here we go we got one already so we have sagittarius fire sign so some of you may be dealing with a sagittarius which is the centaur i think you say half horse half man he's an archer he likes to go, he sees his target, he knows his mark, and he goes after what he wants. Hits that target. 
so let's see. Uh, it could be a, a family member, friend, co-worker, uh, just somebody around you. doesn't have to be. This is a general reading, so I did meditate for a general reading. Because sometimes I would do a general reading and it would turn out to be a love reading. So, and I said, Spirit, please let this be a general reading as I do them separate. Some people don't want a love reading. They're in a happy relationship and they just want a general reading for other things. So... Spirit, for this general reading for the sign of Virgo, who may have may have a Sagittarius, or maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. That could also be it too. So, or just some Sagittarius around you could be a sibling, family member, co-worker, friend, or it could be, you know, a partner of some kind. So. However that resonates for you, if you don't have any Sagittarius, then just throw that part away. And we're going to see now with the, this is the Spirit Messages by John Holland. Very pretty, I love the back of these. We're going to see what your secret message oracle card is, what you need to know for the month of February 2019. Spirit, please. What does Virgo need to know for their secret message that we can give insight to? What do they need to know? What's going on with them? Give them insight and guidance of some kind in their life right now for February or any time. This doesn't have to be for just February. <clears throat> All right, there's two here. So I only want one. So I'm gonna put them back and if one of them are meant to come out, they will come back out. So can we have one card please? For <clears throat> the sign of Virgo. Oh, they're giving me clumps. I just want one. One card, please. For the sign of Virgo. One card, please. Spirit, and we have one sign. One card. For the sign of Virgo. If I don't get one, I'm just going to randomly pick one. I'm sure you don't want to see me shuffle for 10 hours. So, <laughs> Spirit, can we have one card? And I like to show the shuffling on camera. I don't want people to think I pick the cards off camera. And then uh, two cards again. Wow. Okay, so I'm just going to take the top one. Because I don't want to be shuffling all day long. That's not fun to watch. Okay, Virgo, we have believe and I do think this came out earlier and fell on the table and I almost took it and I didn't so this is meant to come out believe the force that works through your soul determining what's possible or impossible the difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief so we'll see what the tarot has to say maybe and her notice her heart is enlightened so maybe there's something you have to believe in maybe you're thinking something is impossible right now um, maybe you're hoping for success in something whether it's your career or something like that and you think it's impossible and you don't believe it's going to happen but it's telling you to believe so We'll see what the tarot has to say. This is the Shadowscapes Tarot. We've got about eight cards or so to clarify your secret message there of belief. And then I'll go over the bottom of the deck of the tarot at the end and also the bottom of the deck of the oracle for an extra secret message guidance card for you, Virgo. So let's see, for the earth sign of Virgo spirit, please, can we clarify believe, what do they need to believe in, what do they have to, what, what are they going after here that they think is impossible for some of them? Spirit, please, can we have some cards to clarify, the sign of Virgo. Not gonna take these, that's too many. My cards are upside down. I just noticed that. <laughs> okay. 
So we have the Ten of Swords. That is air energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And tens are completion, and ten of swords speaks of something be at a to being at a total failure, a loss, um, ruin. And over here it says between success, success over failure. So maybe something has, I don't know, we'll see what the cards have to say. And then we have the knight of pentacles so this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn here's your energy pentacles are monetary um material and the knight is an action card but he's very very slow he's the slowest slowest knight in the deck because he's carrying those heavy pentacles but he is taking action and moving forward but just very very slowly but he's well grounded he's smart he's stable he's secure his intentions are honest and true. He's very reliable. So, so that could be your energy. But it looks like something is, or you think something is at a, as a, is at a total failure or loss. Because this is saying over here, believe in the impossible believe in success over failure I hope that's too many okay so well we have three I'll take three so we have the page of wands this is fire energy and here we are with the Sag Aries or Leo and pages are messages uh, information um, offers so this is fire energy. It's very passionate. It's very, it's creative. It could be a creative I message of a creative idea. A uh, message of an offer of some kind. And then we have the Ten of Wands. So this is fire energy again. The Leo Sag Aries. And that talks about having a lot of burdens, carrying the weight of too much on your shoulders, being really burdensome with everybody else's problems. Uh, let's see. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Air energy again. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This talks about stress, anxiety, having sleepless nights, worrying, um, contemplating too much staying up at night worrying um what's gonna happen so you got the nine to the ten of swords so i feel like wow i mean you have a lot of stress anxiety burdens but you have oh this is the two of wands i thought it was the ten of wands okay so disregard what i said about that. the two of wands so this is about Still fire energy talks about seeking out on a new journey, uh, choosing your path, um, making a choice and setting out in what direction you want to go in. So you have the page of wands and the two of wands. So maybe somebody has an idea, came up with an idea, an offer, could be creative, an endeavor, a project, and you're deciding whether or not to um set forth with that idea and if you are um you, you're taking your time setting forth on this choice this new journey because either something just completed that was very stressful because you got the nine and ten so you go from being, being very stressed out and, and anxious and nervous and worried to just then letting it go and knowing it's a complete and total loss and just letting it go. And the tens are completion. So it's like you just let that go and it's the end of worrying about that. So you could be moving forward very, very slowly in this new endeavor, this new project, this new idea taking your time or you're worried that it's not going to work and it's going to be a total failure and a total loss it could be a new job 
uh, just setting out on some kind of new idea or project. But I think you're worried that it's not going to work. I think you're taking your time. You know, the message came in, but you're taking your time deciding whether or not you want to set out on that new journey with the Two of Wands here. Because the Two of Wands is talk talking about planning, making a decision and planning what direction you're going to go in. So can we have about three more cards, Spirit Guys, for the sign of Virgo? Page of Pentacles. Wow, so we have two pages now. The Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So two messages coming in. Maybe you have two different ideas, two different offers. Because you got the Two of Wands having to decide between two different um, courses of action. Maybe one is more of an out of the ordinary creative project. And maybe one you think is more stable and sturdy and grounded with pentacles. A very sturdy, stable, grounded, um, safe, secure. Maybe you're worried about which one to take because you don't know which one will be successful and which one won't. So you're very nervous and stress out and anxious about what if I make the wrong choice between these two offers here. Okay, so we have two more cards. It's too many. Four more cards. For the sign of Virgo to clarify your situation. The King of Wands, and here we have the Sagittarius energy, uh, fire energy, Leo Sagittarius, the King of Wands. He's very determined. He's very passionate. He goes after what he wants with a lot of drive, effort, and passion. He's usually very successful. He's energetic. He's creative. Um, so maybe this person that offered you this creative idea or um, it's a little out of the ordinary is a fire sign Sagittarius maybe they want you to go into a business with them like a joint business and it's something that's more of like a creative idea like maybe opening a little shop selling handmade jewelry or handmade artifacts you know of some kind and you are very reluctant because you're not sure if, um, because the ones are very creative. So I think maybe you're unsure because you're not sure if this is going to be successful at all. But maybe you also have an opportunity of a more structured, secure career opportunity that you know you would probably be successful at. But maybe you'd be more happy doing this creative thing. But you, you just, you can't make up your mind. I know it seems a little random, a little odd, but this message must be for somebody. These are the messages I'm getting. So I hope it resonates with some of you. So we can get one more card for the sign of Virgo. Wow. Okay. And now we have the Ace of Wands lot of wand energy here and that is the Sagittarius wand energy and the ace is a brand new beginnings this is a new creative idea passionate idea um, endeavor so it looks like this wand whatever this wand sign if it is a Sag or another uh, fire sign Leo Aries I'm getting a lot of their fire energy here. So this may be something you may want to consider, even though you're apprehensive about it. And you think this other opportunity may be more safe and secure. But I don't know, I'm getting this new beginning with the fire here. You got the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Page of Wands, the King of Wands. Wow. Wow. And then the page and the knight, that's your energy with Virgo. 
So it could be a lot of communication between the two of you trying to decide what to do here, how to move forward, where to go, if you even want to do this. So I think you're very worried and stressed out about it, that it may not work with the nine and ten of swords here. No cups, so this, this is not about love. It has to do with career, finance, creative ideas, projects, new endeavors of some kind. No major arcana either. But we have completion with the Ten of Swords and a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. So there is a new beginning here, but it's whatever you choose. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords, Ear Energy, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And I believe that's Aquarian Energy, the Queen of Swords. Or it could be, could be Libra. Let me take a quick look. Libra, it's Libra Energy. So we have Swords, Wands, Pentacles, no cups at all. So the Queen of Swords is somebody who's very truthful, honest, can be a little cold at times, not afraid to cut people out of her life that is at no benefit to her. She stands her ground with truth and clarity and communication, can be maybe a little brash or harsh sometimes with their words. So, I mean, you could have, this could be your energy or... Uh, the other person or maybe there's another person around you who is a air sign Let's see what's on the bottom here so we have the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles definitely your energy again nine of pentacles is someone who is who has just come into their abundance their prosperity their wealth their fortune they're well grounded they've done their hard work they're starting to reap the benefits of their hard work. It's a single energy, so you could be single. But then you have the Queen of Pentacles. You know, now she's going from just reaping her rewards to being a queen. She is now firmly planted in the ground, well-grounded, safe, secure, abundant, prosperous. She's making her money. She's could be a business owner. Um, financial advisor or something like that good with finances so you got two queens here queen of swords queen of pentacles king of wands three different signs so however that works for you you like i said you could have two opportunities maybe from a fire sign an air sign you're the uh, earth sign and you're not sure what direction to take but you do have the Nine and the Queen of Pentacles. So whichever way you go, I think you're going to benefit and you're going to be well off, secure, grounded, and be prosperous and abundant. It just depends on what direction you want to take, what will fulfill you. You have to believe and trust which one... Um, will work for you, you would be happy at, passionate about. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. What, Which one will fulfill your heart's desire and make you happy and fulfilled? You just have to have the power to believe to make the right choice. Whatever choice you want to make, just follow it and go with your gut and your heart. I think it's telling you to follow your heart. Only you know what that is. Vulnerability is in the bottom of the deck. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown. Wow. <laughs> Unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense of sense that feeling vulnerable somehow a negative condition. Wow. And this is like the heart chakra. Green is heart chakra. Look at that. Follow your heart. Go into the unknown, unfamiliar territory. Follow your intuition. Treading into the unknown. And I feel like here, 
with this page of wands, this wand energy, maybe treading into the unknown you're not sure about and you're not sure if it's going to work or be a total loss or ruin. But either way you go, I still see you benefiting and um, being prosperous, abundant. But follow your heart's desire. Tread into the unknown, even if you're just believe. No, everybody has free will. It's your decision to make. But um, this is what the cards are telling me. So that is up to you. Everybody has free will. So good luck to you. And I hope you follow your heart and your heart's desire and go in the direction that you believe in. So thank you for watching. I hope this resonated with you. Um, if it did, again, please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the little bell for notifications to be notified when I post a new video. And best of luck to you. Many light, love, and blessings. And don't forget to shine your light.